Today, we're going to talk about one of my favorite topics, attracting the ideal people into your life and your journey to divine connections. All right, so you've probably heard the statement, if you build it, they will come. Or my favorite happens to be, if one advances confidently in the direction of his or her dreams and endeavors to live the life which she has imagined, they will meet with a success unexpected in common hours. A very famous quote by David Henry Thoreau. And of course, I threw in she and they to be gender neutral. Well, more specifically, we're going to be talking about how to attract the ideal people into your life so that you are having these divine connections that just kind of come from out of nowhere. And how, when you commit yourself to aligning with this intention, you'll begin to witness some very magical phenomenon occurring in your life. Everyone you desire or need to fulfill your personal intention will start appearing in your life. Yes, you heard me correctly. The right people will show up precisely when you need them. How? I have eight principles you can use and begin attracting the ideal people into your life and these divine relationships that I know we're all so destined. Now, before we get into this subject about attracting the ideal people into your life and your journey to divine connections, I wanna begin with something really important, and that is the topic of resistance. So it can be very challenging to recognize resistance because it often feels so familiar. Resistance shows up in our thoughts, our emotions, and our energy levels. In fact, if you're like me, you often are aware that you're in resistance and you're not quite sure what to do about it, but you're, you also know that being in resistance is keeping you at a distance from what it is that you ultimately want to attract. And if you are in resistance and believing you are powerless to attract the right people, then you'll attract powerlessness. If you're attached to the idea of being stuck with the wrong people or no people at all, your energy is not in alignment with the power of intention and the resistance will continue to take hold and hold you back, making it very hard to attract the people in the connections that you really do want. So let me also point out something, and that is the definition and the use of the word intention. Um, my definition is very closely aligned to how the famous author Wayne Dyer talks about it in his book, The Power of Intention. I read this often. I love his material. Uh, I'm very, um, very fond student of his work. And he defines intention as a force in the universe that allows the act of creation to take place. Having an intention is not just an act that you do, rather it's a field of energy that you are a part of and an energy that you can co-create with. So I invite you to pick up this book if you'd like to learn more about it. I know we're gonna be talking about attracting, but you need to stay with me on this. Because essentially having intentions help you to harness and flow with the law of attraction. So the so-called field of intention and the law of attraction has no choice but to send you more of what it is that you really do desire, what it is that you've set your intention on, how it is that you are flowing, and ultimately what it is that you are calling into your life, so to speak. And here's the key. You want to allow your intention to be absolutely clear. When you're ready and willing to receive, somehow the right people show up and they arrive in your life right on schedule. Now, let's talk about being aware of what it is that you're desiring. This universe, I happen to believe, is a universe of attraction and energy. You can't expect to attract a mate who's confident and generous, non-judgmental and gentle if you happen to be thinking and acting in non-confident, selfish, judgmental and arrogant ways. Most people struggle to attract the right people because they don't align their thoughts, feelings, and actions with what it is that they truly desire. And my friends, I'm here to tell you that one of your superpowers come into play when you understand this. You have the ability to match up with the power of intention and fulfill your intention to attract ideal people and divine relationships into your life. It all begins with a shift in your inner dialogue and your awareness of this and that we truly are not separate from each other, 
or separate from what we want in our lives. You see, there's no difference between you and another person, mystically speaking. We all emanate from what I believe is pure love and we share the same source energy. And by recognizing this truth, you can start thinking and feeling and acting in a way that reflects your connection to all there is and to one another. When you feel the need to have the right person show up in your life, change your inner dialogue to reflect this awareness. Instead of wishing and hoping and activating thoughts that they're not there yet, you want to affirm that the right person will be there precisely at the perfect time. Believe that everyone you need for your journey will show up and that they'll be perfect for whatever it is that you need at that time. So if you're ready to start attracting the right aligned people and divine relationships into your life, I have eight principles that I'm so happy to share with you. Number one, you want to move away from hope and wishing. You need to bid farewell to hoping, wishing, praying, and begging for the right person or people to show up in your life. Instead, you want to embrace the understanding that this is a universe that operates on energy and attraction. You have the power to attract the right people when you shift from ego-driven energy to aligning with the all-providing source of intention. Number two, banish resistance and recognize and release any resistance that might be holding you back. Resistance, as we've been talking about, can manifest as doubts, limiting beliefs, attachments to the idea of being stuck with the wrong people or the wrong person. Instead, again, you wanna shift, you wanna trust in the power of intention and let go of any thoughts, emotions, and energy levels that don't align with attracting what it is that you really want. Number three, be an energetic match to what it is that you want. Be what you desire to attract. Align your thoughts, feelings, and actions with the qualities and characteristics that you seek in other people. So if you want love, radiate love. If you want generosity, be generous. If you want kindness from someone, find more ways to be kind. Remember, like attracts like. And when you embody what it is that you are seeking, you become a magnet for it. Number four, change your inner dialogue. You got to shift your inner dialogue to reflect your connection to the universal love and intention that you've set. Instead of focusing on what you lack or yearn for, affirm that the right people are already on their way. Replace thoughts of scarcity with thoughts of abundance, knowing that the perfect individuals are making their way into your life. Number five, you also need to trust in divine order. You want to trust that everything is unfolding for you in divine order, that the right people are showing up at the precise moment that you need them. Even if it may seem that they're not here, it's having faith that divine order and divine orchestration is happening for your highest good and the highest good of the other people. And then trusting this process and staying aligned with your power of intention. Number six, affirm your desires. Affirm your desires with unwavering faith. You want to picture in your mind the person or the people that you're intending to attract. Be in that energy consistently. Affirming it in your mind and having the imagination of you actually spending the time with that person, doing the deed or the act or creating whatever it is that you want to create. Having a visual imagination and being present in that always is also what attracts them to you. Imagine how they will treat you and how you will treat them and how you will assist one another. From a very clear picture of your ideal connections and hold that vision with conviction and belief. Number seven, radiate love and connection. When you are radiating a sense and the energy of love and connection and gratitude, you have no choice but to attract that back. Like attracts like. That intention is so strong. And remember that there is no difference between you and another person on that mystical level that we talked about. So if you know that the people exist, the things exist, the connections exist, and you're always looking for that to show up, it shows up. It really does. You have to look to see the infinite souls that are everywhere in your field of awareness. And you want to think and feel and act in a way that continues to attract them. Number eight, be ready and willing to receive. 
being ready and willing to receive the right people into your life at the divine perfect time is like saying to the universe, I've let go of any resistance and fears and self-imposed limitations, and I'm open and available to receive. Open your heart and your mind to all of the divine connections that are out there that are truly meant for you, and trust that they will appear at precisely the perfect time, aligning with your intentions and your desires. So there you have it. Eight steps to attracting divine connections into your life. Embrace these principles. Play this video over and over again and be mindful of what is showing up in your life. And if you want to experience a community where more people are shifting their awareness, raising their frequency, connecting with other like-minded individuals and coming into greater levels of joy and happiness and peace and fulfillment in their lives, then I invite you to join us in SHIFT. You can find all the details at dariath.com forward slash shift or at the links underneath this video or on the uh, page that you might be watching this on in the show notes of the podcast that you're listening. Remember my friends, we're all love and love attracts love. So stay tuned for more insights and guidance on your path to attracting and maintaining all of the partnerships that are coming into your life. Get ready to experience the joy and the fulfillment of aligning with your power of intention and the power of the law of attraction. And I'm wishing you so much abundance of divine relationships and connections. Thanks for watching and listening. Disclaimer, the Way of the Healer Conversation for Change podcast and its host and guests are providing this information for educational purposes only. We do not condone nor condemn the selling, purchase, or use of any substances that are considered outside of legal acquisition or usage. We encourage discretion and safety when involving yourself or others with substances and activities that are deemed illegal by your official local government laws and agencies. It is your responsibility to research and know applicable laws.